my pre uh, pleasure to present to all the participants of the seminar our speaker of today, Professor Tibor Bogani from uh, uh, Rijeka, from Croatia, and uh, also uh, representing Obuda University from Hungary. And today he will speak about Hilbert type inequalities with non homogeneous kernel. So please, Tibor. Thank you very much. I am uh, really honored to be invited to your seminar. And uh, first of all, uh, because of I greeting everyone <clears throat> who is uh, now in uh, hearing me or maybe seeing me, maybe not, I don't know, doesn't matter. Uh, I have to uh, explain you what is uh, uh, with my two affiliations. First, in Croatia, I am retired two years, maybe one and a half exactly. And now I am just an associate of uh, the Faculty of Maritime Studies, my first home uh, institute. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, they promoted me uh, uh, to the Professor Emeritus status in Rijeka University. So I have a small cabinet on, in the same place where I have seen uh, 30 years. And uh, in meanwhile, someone uh, just find out that there are Hungarians who are mathematicians outside of Hungary and who are working and uh, speaking uh, Hungarian. So uh, together with my two uh, friends and, and associates from Transylvania, we uh, just joined to Obuda University uh, eight years ago, and I am there not uh, retired. So that's why is on the first place my uh, uh, Hungarian affiliation. Of course, I am still working there. That means I teach online some courses and uh, for uh, master and uh, PhD students. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't in Budapest uh, about two years. Uh, the time is not normal, uh, you know very well. And I hope that uh, the COVID-19 is not hurt you uh, too much and you can live and work uh, <clears throat> in uh, normal, uh, approximately, uh, normal uh, uh, conditions. Uh, by us is the situation under control, say the, the government, but uh, it is not really so. So uh, the uh, Hilbert inequality is not changing in the meanwhile without COVID and with COVID. So uh, I just uh, <clears throat> take uh, the opportunity to deliver some lecture about one of my interests. Other my interests are uh, in uh, functional series, Neumann, uh, Kapten, Schlömer series, in uh, correlation theory of stochastic processes, in some statistics, and uh, finally in uh, Vitaker Kotelnikov uh, Shannon sampling theory for stochastic signals. Uh, I didn't know when uh, I was invited what uh, to take uh, for my topic, so one of them should be, uh, the title is the Hilbert type inequalities uh, with non-homogeneous kernel, but an another view. Because here in Croatia is a big, uh, uh, a big seminar for inequalities, uh, led by uh, Professor uh, Josip Pecaric, uh, who is uh, a really uh, big name for inequalities. Uh, I am not joining to this seminar. It, my uh, topic is some other uh, topic. Uh, uh, it is Hilbert type inequality, but the developing, deriving uh, uh, methods and point of view are different. I will uh, show you some results about uh, that, to me, interesting part of, of uh, my uh, research. So please uh, go to this next, uh, <clears throat> the uh, next slide. First of all, uh, 
two French uh, mathematicians uh, make a big uh, pressure and uh, impressions to me. First is Emile Leonard Mathieu, who was born in Metz, and uh, uh, then uh, he moved uh, as a real algebraist. And when someone is interested in algebra, in uh, some uh, finite groups, he uh, is very famous because of uh, with uh, pen and paper, he find some, uh, I think, four or five extraordinary uh, uh, primitive groups. And, and after that, when he moved to Paris, uh, he became uh, the teaching assistant and the collaborator of the great mechanic uh, uh, master, Lame. And uh, because of uh, that, he became a mathematical physicist. And uh, he, uh, until his death, was interested in uh, some research uh, with vibrating plates, partial differential equations, and uh, a double Laplacian uh, differential equations, or uh, delta square F, uh, either uh, zero or a homogeneous or non-homogeneous case which is a very interesting thing from a, a, a old-fashioned uh, algebraist became a mathematician physicist just skipping uh, in one or two years uh, that uh, big gap between that two topics in in mathematics the other uh, uh, big name is Eugene Kain, uh, who was a number theoretist and uh, who uh, find a very nice summation uh, for formula represented by a Laplace type integral. He didn't uh, prove it. Uh, after a few years, uh, the German mathematician Perron uh, proved it uh, exactly and precisely, but uh, the formula belongs to Kain. Uh, many years I was interested in that Mathieu series, which uh, Mathieu find in his modeling of uh, vibrating plates, prisms, and other mechanical uh, uh, problems. And uh, he was interested in uh, convergence of that series since uh, he uh, expanded uh, some functions into Fourier series and there turns out to be some uh, very interesting series, but uh, it is uh, there a nice method to transform Mathieu series into uh, Dirichlet series, and that is what uh, Kain made. He gave a very nice and uh, elegant uh, method to present the sum with an integral of Laplace type. Uh, please, the next uh, uh, slide. Uh, here is uh, what I want to tell you. Uh, that is an invitation, then a Matthew series, how uh, I did what I did with Hilbert inequalities, and so on. Please, the next one. OK. Uh, Mathieu uh, picked up uh, three times when he was uh, uh, there in Paris, uh, uh, nearby Lamé. Uh, he wrote several memoirs. You uh, can see that there are a, a journal of École Polytechnique and a comprendu uh, of uh, the French Academy. And in all that... Uh, paper, he uh, investigated uh, what is a result of vibration of rectangular plates, which are uh, clamped, and some membranes uh, of different shape uh, and uh, prisms uh, by the biharmonic different that I uh, mentioned, uh, delta square F is G, and uh, he modeled the elasticity uh, and uh, behavior and of that plates and membranes. Uh, the same problem was considered by uh, the great uh, Italian Lauricella, uh, 
uh, was uh, a specialist for uh, hypergeometric functions of several variables. Then the Russian Koyalovich, I just read, it was an uh, extraordinary uh, Czech uh, uh, master also, and uh, uh, the in, today acting uh, Ukrainian uh, mathematician Meleshko. Uh, Meleshko's papers cover the most part of uh, the earlier uh, history of Matthew series as well. Now, in uh, the last time, uh, one uh, 15 years ago, with uh, my from Skopje, and he is now in Ostrava, and uh, Professor Strivastava from uh, Canada, uh, British Columbia, uh, we uh, published a paper about Matthew series, uh, which are a bit, uh, uh, but uh, we, uh, as mathematicians, uh, generalize the ordinary Matthew series and get some A series and um, uh, alternating series, something like that. But a uh, few days ago, uh, it was published the second of my uh, great papers, written by my uh, Indian friend uh, Rakesh Parmar and Gradimir Milovanovich from Belgrade. And uh, we just uh, give something else, other generalizations about that Matthew series. Uh, the uh, research methods were similar. You will see uh, what uh, contain that uh, methods. Uh, please uh, let me change the slide. Uh, Matthew uh, just uh, picked up all uh, earlier findings about uh, that uh, method for, uh, from mechanic, mechanic. And in his uh, seven, uh, sixth and seventh uh, book, uh, volume of the big uh, ma uh, mathematical physics books, Trade the Physique Mathematique, uh, he published what it is uh, in the uh, display one. So uh, and he expanded some functions which describe the behavior of uh, the membranes he gets something like SR. That is, uh, you can see a very nice, uh, <clears throat> very nice convergence series. That is the original Matthew series. Uh, who investigated from mathematical part that and uh, find some uh, very simple upper and lower bounds for that SR or other, he's a big master of uh, any kind of best constants in, in approximating everything. Then the Chinese, Bai Ni Guo, uh, the lady who uh, is uh, a wife of Peng Chi, is a bit uh, below. Then uh, the Danish Berg, my PhD student, uh, Biser Kadraščić, uh, Pietro Cerone, Diananda, Albert, uh, and uh, other names, Gavrea, Guo, Lampret, then uh, Mokhoi, uh, and Gradimir Milovajnovic, together with uh, two Macedonians at, uh, at end. What we generalize? We take, uh, in, instead of 2n in uh, numerator, uh, sequence a n on some parameter beta. And uh, in the denominator, uh, n square becomes a uh, a n on alpha. Uh, that is a definition of uh, Živora Tomovsky and Harry Srivastava. But uh, we can conclude that uh, A n is a superfluous uh, uh, expression since uh, when A n is a uh, concrete and, and, and uh, fixed series, then E n beta is also a fixed series. So it is enough to uh, involve just one parameter, alpha or beta, it doesn't matter which one where, but uh, that is an over uh, Z uh, uh, expression. Please, the next uh, uh, slide. So, SR is uh, presented as a 
integral by uh, Emmersleben in 1952. That is uh, also a <coughs> convergent integral, something like a Fourier uh, sine uh, uh, transform of the function t divided by e t minus 1, e on t minus 1 uh, uh, in denominator, that is, I think, the Einstein function or something like that. It is known about that. But uh, in 2004, I proved that uh, uh, the S mu, which was presented on the uh, uh, slide before that, that is uh, uh, a uh, generalized Matthew series, is nothing else that a uh, double integral where uh, you can see in uh, inner integrals, uh, upper integration bound, that uh, the squared brackets are uh, the integral part of what uh, it is inside. A u is actually a function which is uh, uh, monotonically growing and divergent to infinity. Uh, one uh, derivative is there. And uh, the restriction of that function to uh, the in positive integers uh, form the coefficients a n, which were presented earlier in the uh, generalized Mathieu series. Also, uh, the curly bracket, the u in uh, numerator, is nothing else than the rest. That is the remaining part, the fractional part of u. That means u minus uh, squared bracket u, which is a uh, usual definition. Uh, now about bounds. Uh, Mathieu uh, worried about the convergence, but uh, he was not really interested in a sharp uh, lower and upper bounds, but uh, Alzer find that uh, the squared bound where r is the usual uh, variable of the Matthew series uh, can be uh, bounded bilaterally with uh, an upper constant in denominator uh, from the left-hand side and one-third uh, with uh, the constant on the right-hand side. And uh, it is a very interesting uh, and very simple lower and upper bound. But uh, I confess you that uh, the Matthew series is not something very complicated. Uh, <clears throat> later, with my uh, PhD student, Biser Kadrasic, we have found uh, uh, the next uh, interpolation of uh, Alzer's inequality, and you can see how complicated it is. Uh, please uh, show the uh, next. Uh, slide. Uh, here you can see how can we uh, interpolate the upper uh, bound uh, of um, uh, Alzer uh, when R is between 0, 0.39 and uh, 5 of 4, then uh, our uh, bound is uh, sharper than uh, ulcers, but it is extremely complicated. You can see uh, there is an integer part of square root of t in numerator in the first integral, in first integral, and then the square of the same, and uh, there is a rational uh, denominator, but uh, uh, we were uh, very happy to find uh, an inter possibility of interpolation uh, between SR and uh, the uh, Alzer's upper bound. <clears throat> what can we uh, to do with Matthew series? For example, when A n is a Gaussian uh, two F one classical hypergeometric function or generalized hypergeometric function of special kind, or Fox-Wright hypergeometric function, 
Mayer G or Fox H. Uh, that uh, Matthew series were uh, investigated uh, after 2004 by myself and uh, uh, Živora Tomovsky. Uh, then uh, we find some applications in theory of Kaptein Neumann, Schlömil, Hendini series. Uh, also, uh, when we present Butzer, Flock, and House complete omega function, uh, Eisenstein and Hilbert Eisenstein series, and other uh, zeta functions, for example, uh, etc. Please give me the next. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, the most uh, general case is the Matthew A lambda series. Uh, the Matthew A lambda series is one sequence is in uh, numerator, and other sequence is in denominator plus a uh, variable rho, which is a positive uh, continuous variable, and everything is raised on uh, some power mu. Uh, rho and mu are positive, and I never uh, find out why uh, take uh, <clears throat> originally Mathieu R square in the say that R should be positive in uh, the denominator of uh, that uh, general term of uh, the original Matthew series. Uh, maybe some physical things is behind, but uh, I cannot find it uh, uh, where he uh, published or, 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 or say anything about that. Uh, the reason is uh, very simple. Uh, you know that there is a retro-digitalizing uh, program of the French Academy. That is Gallica. That Gallica uh, collection uh, contains almost everything from the French mathematics background and history and heritage. But uh, the problem is that they retro-digitalized six volumes of Mathieu's mathematical physics uh, books, but not the seventh. And unfortunately, uh, Mathieu's uh, series is belonging to uh, the seventh uh, volume of his masterpiece. So I cannot find uh, the exact uh, source to uh, became smarter uh, to see what Mathieu thought about uh, that positivity of that R. So, doesn't matter. Uh, the kind form formula uh, I have found uh, in the monograph by Jovan Karamata. Uh, that book I just have got from a uh, <clears throat> antiquary bookshop in Rijeka many years ago. And uh, it is an excellent book about Theoria i Praxa Stiltes of Integrala. I think that everyone who is speaking some Slavic language can, can understand it. Uh, and there is also a controversy about the Theoria e Praxa Stiltesova Integrala. Since uh, the reviewer of that book for mathematical reviews was William Feller. William Feller was born nearby Zagreb and he finished uh, uh, Royal uh, Yugoslav. Uh, study in mathematics in Zagreb, so she, uh, he should uh, knew very well uh, what uh, a Serbian language is, because of Karamata's book was uh, issued in uh, Cyrillic letters. So it is very interesting that his uh, review in math reviews uh, just uh, is beginning with the uh, fact that it was published uh, or issued on, uh, in uh, Polish language. I don't know that Polish is uh, uh, writable uh, in uh, Cyrillic, and I'm asking Eduard Neumann, who is uh, native Polish, and he's just laughing many years ago, and he also don't know who is uh, writing uh, from Polish uh, in Polish, uh, by Cyrillic letters. So, doesn't matter. 
when uh, we uh, just uh, arrived several times uh, to the editor in chief of mathematical reviews about that controversy, uh, never get back any uh, response uh, of uh, the uh, common sense. Uh, nothing uh, was uh, the response. I don't know why, but uh, cannot just uh, uh, make a nice theory uh, to write uh, uh, papers about that. So please uh, give me the next uh, slide. Kain's formula is the following. Uh, Kain uh, published it in uh, 1895, and uh, when we have a Dirac series, that means that x in on the left hand side sum uh, in three is uh, positive or have positive real part, and uh, lambda n is tending to infinity, uh, is divergent and positive also uh, monotonically, uh, then. There is an integrand a function dAt, uh, which is a sum of uh, all ans between n equals to one to uh, the all <coughs> indices for which uh, lambda n is less than t. So uh, dAt, you can see what it is, is the counting function and uh, it is actually a finite sum. Uh, that finite sum we can uh, calculate or, or, or find, for example, by euler maclaurin formula or some uh, similar tool, rectangular formula, and so on. Uh, it was published in uh, uh, 1894, but in 1908 was uh, strongly uh, proved by Oscar Xavier Perón. Please, the next one. So now is coming the first uh, theorem. Uh, when we have a <clears throat> general A lambda uh, Mathieu series, the sum is presented by four. Uh, I mentioned what uh, is here important. The limit of lambda sequence is infinity. It is monotone. It is, of course, increasing a uh, positive uh, sequence, rho and mu are positive, and A is once differentiable. The next theorem just is showing uh, us what are the uh, lower and the upper bounds for that S mu series. Uh, <clears throat> you can see that the left-hand side, the uh, expression A, is uh, a double integral, and uh, the mm, constant b is a single integral. That is because in four, you can take an uh, obvious uh, upper bound and lower bound for the um, fractional part of u. Uh, fractional part of u is obviously greater than equal zero and less than one. So when uh, everything is positive, and you take uh, uh, the lower bound, you can get something similar, uh, something simple. That is A. And when uh, you are taking uh, that it is less than one, then you uh, can uh, get A and plus B. B is now uh, more convenient uh, for integration since A derivative is present. Thank you. Please, the next uh, slide. Now, here is an uh, example when uh, an is in uh, numerator, a an, uh, an square is in denominator. So, uh, beta is 1, alpha is 2 in uh, alpha beta uh, extension of Matthew series. Now, uh, a series, <clears throat> we uh, should transform it into a Dirichlet series. That means that we take uh, the gamma integral uh, uh, method, and that means that the lambda, which is there uh, in uh, the lambda n uh, sequence, which is in uh, exponent of uh, the directly series, should be divergent and uh, monotonically 
increasing. You can see that that is exactly the first condition what we picked up to uh, fulfill the kind formulas uh, uh, properties by which we just have to conclude what, uh, what is here. Uh, the theorem three is showing what happened when a n is in a uh, numerator and a n square in the denominator. Uh, that is five. Please, uh, the next uh, slide, thank you. Uh, we can now connect uh, and uh, uh, there are just some uh, by <coughs> products of uh, that method, for example, of uh, convolution type Fredholm integral equation uh, by which we can uh, find some summations. Please, the next one. Uh, here is a method how can we uh, uh, eliminate uh, non homogeneous parts? And uh, get, uh, 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 I think, a nice uh, example uh, of uh, constructing orthogonal uh, uh, functions in uh, the integrand of the previously considered uh, Fredholm integral equation. Please, the next one. Now, uh, there is a uh, other byproduct that is nothing else that uh, uh, Bromwich Wagner type integral, uh, complex uh, line integral representation of the Bessel function of the first kind. And uh, that is uh, J nu x. Uh, you can see here that. Is it is involved a beta function and a very ugly integral in the uh, numerator and the gamma function uh, and the uh, uh, Riemann zeta in the denominator. And uh, uh, it is interesting then uh, when you are checking uh, the Wolfram uh, sites, <clears throat> points where the Bessel functions integral representations are, there are, I think, more than 200 uh, different formulas, but this one is not there. Uh, I think that uh, I have published it maybe 15 years ago, but uh, they uh, were not interested in uh, putting that uh, integral, which is not really more complicated than uh, some uh, integral representations in uh, that side, but who knows? Please, the next one. Now you can see uh, here uh, an other kind of integral representation of the Bessel function of the first kind. Uh, now in the integrand is involving the h tilde j function, which is a complicated expression uh, where the integer part uh, of integer part of the square root of uh, the uh, variable is involved. <clears throat> Please, uh, the next one. Now, uh, a one F2 function uh, is also presented by uh, a similar uh, kind Bromwich-Wagner integral. And uh, uh, I think that uh, it is uh, <clears throat> also, uh, HF is also a complicated uh, double integral. So integral of integral of integrals, it is three integrals in the line. Please, the next one. Now about Riemann zeta and Dirichlet eta functions. Uh, there are also for uh, Riemann zeta and Dirichlet eta a uh, nice presentation uh, by integrals uh, when <clears throat> Uh, we have not exactly the Riemann zeta, but something more complicated. That is a n. When we replace a n by n, we get directly a Riemann zeta's integral. That is integral from one to infinity, 
uh, and so on and so on. Uh, there, in the second integral in theorem seven, you can find the sine square expression. That is the uh, 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 point. Uh, how can we express the alternating series? Every time when in series is minus one on n minus one, or it is the alternating part, the sine square of p half and something is coming into uh, integrals, uh, uh, numerator of the integral. Thank you. The next one, please. There is uh, the uh, exact, uh, uh, the corollary of the previous theorem. And you can uh, see that how can we present the Dirichlet uh, eta and the Riemann zeta function. Okay, thank you. Uh, please, the next one. And now we are coming to the uh, uh, Hilbert type inequalities. The Hilbert type inequalities or the Hilbert double series theorem is nothing else that uh, <clears throat> expression, the Hilbert's expression on the left hand side of the seven. That means you are a product of two general terms of two sequences and it is divided by the sum of uh, the subscripts of indices. And it is less than uh, the beta function of p and one minus p, where p and q are the conjugated uh, Herder exponents, uh, and the norm of p and norm of q, which uh, are the usual LP, small lp norms. And uh, that is uh, that uh, right hand expression, the upper bound is sharp. Uh, the best constant is there, and I think I'm not sure now about the history of that. Hilbert shows only the p equals q equals two uh, case, uh, he showed it uh, for his students during his classes. But Weil is who find you know, finally that uh, uh, sharp form because of in uh, original version, P is in a uh, uh, numerator in uh, which is of course true because of when P is equals two, then sinus P half is one and everything is nice and, and, and uh, Everything is okay. Please, the next uh, slide. Now, <clears throat> Bi Cheng Yang is a Chinese mathematician who is uh, exclusively interested in Hilbert type in inequalities, nothing else. He is working then, and I think that he is nearby 100 papers um, uh, written in uh, that topic. So, he put uh, the uh, exponent lambda uh, in the denominator of Hilbert expression and uh, proved that there is uh, some weighted norm uh, of A and weighted norm of B sequence. And uh, also P and Q are uh, connected with uh, uh, the Herder uh, constraint and lambda is uh, between two minus minimal value of P and Q and less than two, then everything is true, which you can see in eight. Uh, and K lambda P, which is that uh, constant in uh, front of uh, the right-hand side uh, two norm product is also a beta function and it is sharp. So we, finally are uh, coming uh, to the examine uh, the uh, infinite bilinear form, which kernel function key is uh, 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 now uh, in, uh, introduced. Uh, of course, uh, when we take a homogeneous kernel, uh, then everything is okay. But what when the, uh, when the kernel is not homogeneous? The main problems, will be uh, listed uh, in uh, one or two uh, slides. Please, the next one. So, uh, what we are doing? Uh, first, we have two sequences. One is lambda and uh, two uh, 
monotone increasing functions, uh, which are divergent when x is tending to infinity, uh, lambda and rho. Uh, the restrictions of lambda and rho form two sequences. One is lambda n and the other is a rho n. And uh, m will be replaced by lambda m and uh, uh, n will be replaced with rho n. Everything is the same in that uh, Hilbert expression. Uh, the Hölder inequality with non-conjugate parameters means that there is some inflation, some incremental parameter. That is the difference between 1 by p plus 1 by q minus 1. And we will assume that that delta uh, will be uh, positive uh, or non-negative, uh, to be exact. Uh, Bonsal is one of that who is uh, producing interesting results uh, for that. Uh, but it seems that uh, my time is going out. Uh, so please let me show the next uh, slide. So what is the strategy? First, we are considering an A lambda Matthew series. Then we multiply the series with a positive uh, value of BM, which is a member of a uh, sequence, uh, which is uh, nice and good. That means uh, monotone increasing and uh, so, uh, tending to infinity, something like that, which we need for the Matthew series uh, technique. Then assume that rho m is a restriction of uh, some uh, function which is also uh, uh, increasing monotonously. And uh, uh, the restriction will be take uh, the non-negative integers into account. Then, when we have a n and b m divided by lambda m plus rho n on some mu, that is nothing else when we is summing up uh, that with respect to other uh, index index or uh, other subscript uh, the. Uh, Hilbert's double uh, sum series. The background is uh, of Matthew series. We can take everything from Matthew series technique, that is directly series, kind formula, uh, upper bounds, lower bounds, and uh, we just have to uh, go uh, into counting. Uh, what is now uh, the kernel function? You can see below it is lambda m plus rho n on minus mu. Please, the next one. And here is the first uh, result. The first result is that that uh, construct of uh, Hilbert series, I, M, B, N, lambda, M plus rho, N on mu, is less than or equal on some uh, extremely ugly constant, but two norms. Uh, one norm is of R, A, and what the other one is of B. Of course, we take twice uh, the original Hölder inequality, one uh, by uh, conjugated uh, exponents P and Q, and the next one conjugated exponents of R and S. Uh, you can see what the C lambda rho constant is. It is beta function, powers, double integral, of integer parts of some inverse functions and so on and so on. Thank you. Now the next one. Uh, the proof, I think we will skip. Please uh, go to the next. <clears throat> How can we now uh, give some result without uh, weighted norms? That means a and B will not be multiplied with uh, N or M in some uh, exponents, uh, positive or negative, doesn't matter, but it should be finite. So, <clears throat> is it possible to find some results concerning that? Uh, there is, uh, uh, I think, the only uh, possibility to uh, see somewhere except the original Hilbert and Weyers uh, results, 
uh, to see some uh, non-weighted norm uh, Hilbert type inequality uh, in the paper uh, written by my uh, PhD student Biser Kadraščić, but now she was married to her husband that it should be oh, 12 or 13 years ago. Now it is Ban also from husband's uh, surname. And it was published in Applicable Analysis and Discrete Mathematics. So please, the next uh, uh, slide. Here is the inequality. So you can see the constant. Uh, it is uh, a, a long uh, notation for the constant. But uh, here uh, you can see what it is a triple integral. Uh, but uh, some integrals in the uh, outer integrand are uh, on some powers, which are connected to uh, the P and Q. And uh, <clears throat> that is uh, our result. It is uh, getting on the way I mentioned. First, by gamma uh, integral, we just uh, uh, build uh, two Dirichlet series. Uh, since the plus is just a, a, a very big trap, uh, we skip that uh, splitting into two, uh, the double uh, sum uh, into the product of two single sums, and everything is now on the Matthew series. Please, the next one. Proof, please uh, skip it. Also, uh, okay, then are now corollaries to that theorem. Please also, we can go wider to, to uh, give uh, some uh, <clears throat> more insight. Please, the next one. Okay, now uh, here is a special example when <clears throat> lambda and rho are identical uh, functions that lambda x, x and rho x equals x, then <clears throat> we get the following upper bound. There is a double Einstein type uh, <clears throat> uh, integrand, and uh, uh, actually it is a Mellin transform of uh, product of two uh, Einstein uh, uh, type uh, functions. Okay, please go to the next one. Uh, that is now taking uh, instead of uh, rho x uh, uh, equals x, the rho x equals x squared. Everything is uh, the similar, just uh, Jacobi theta function is in the integrand. Thank you. Uh, uh, that is some discussion. Please uh, skip it also. And uh, that is just a uh, controversy. Please go uh, to the next. Uh, and also one more. And there are the final remarks. Uh, the first uh, remark is uh, that uh, we uh, were able to find uh, Hilbert uh, inequality or the uh, bound of dub for double series uh, without weighted norms of the uh, input sequences. Uh, the next two is how can we now uh, form Hilbert uh, inequalities, new ones? Uh, of course, that is a, a good advice for someone who is heavily interested into uh, building inequalities, you can see in that sum, uh, we are divided a n by phi n and multiplied by phi n in the same time, then take some uh, nice inequality, for example, Holder, and you get a n divided by phi n, that is one uh, part, one sum, one upper bound, and the sum of phi n times e n minus lambda n x, which is a Dirichlet series. So uh, you can now uh, uh, <clears throat> make some decisions about what phi n could be, and there are uh, material materials for uh, getting new uh, 
uh, inequalities. Uh, I cannot see what the tree is because of there is uh, some uh, uh, something. And uh, please go to the uh, the next uh, slide. Uh, okay, uh, I am just uh, telling you what is now. Uh, instead of the Hilbert double uh, sum, I introduced uh, 12 years ago an X variable, which is on the same lambda m plus rho n uh, exponents. And that is that uh, it is a modified Hilbert type uh, sum. And I have found with uh, some uh, quasi polynomials in X and T uh, some uh, upper bounds. Please go to the next slide. Okay, that is the same. Please once uh, one skip one more. Thank you. Uh, here is uh, the final result. Uh, A, P, and B, Q are uh, the uh, norms, of course, non-weighted, but X is now involved in the, uh, which is completely understandable and normal and, and expected uh, into the constant uh, on the right-hand side. Please uh, show us the next. Okay, uh, uh, please skip it. The consequences, they are just examples as well. Example, uh, please skip it. Uh, and finally, multiple Hilbert type inequalities, which close uh, my talk. And uh, please go to the uh, neg to the references list. I would uh, give some remarks about that. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, uh, just uh, please two or two uh, step uh, steps back. If it is possible. Yeah, one more, please. No, it is it is the last one. Okay, uh, doesn't matter. I think that uh, you will uh, have the uh, the page. Okay, that is it. So uh, I am collecting collecting here uh, the whole history of uh, mine in publishing uh, something about uh, which is in connect connection with Mathieu, uh, which is used in Hilbert type inequalities. There are, I think, four or five papers. After that, uh, the history of uh, inequalities with non-conjugate parameter, or uh, who is working, what is the importance uh, uh, in uh, that topic, are uh, collected at the end on the references list. Um, I'm sorry for uh, that I'm, I was not so skilled in using uh, Microsoft Teams, and uh, I know that in every and when we want to say something, it is a bit longer uh, than uh, usual. So uh, my uh, intentions were nice, but uh, you know that the good intentions uh, sometimes uh, doesn't result in, in, in a nice final form or final result. Uh, thank you for uh, your attention. And thank you very much, Tibor, for a very interesting talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the question. And uh, I don't know when if someone is interested in uh, that. You have uh, the file I have sent you, the PDF, and uh, or uh, can write me and I will uh, proceed uh, the file to the interested researchers and mathematicians. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So probably there are questions. I have a comment on it. Yeah, please. 
It's very interesting lecture. I have been very interested of this uh, also type of inequalities uh, because they are closely related to Hardy type inequalities. And, uh, Excuse have, me, uh, but uh, the echo is terrible, and so I cannot understand you so uh, properly. Uh, maybe it would be better when someone, because of, I think that it is also, oh, uh, uh, see now, uh, Professor Persson, uh, I, uh, if you can write me a mail, I think uh, that I will uh, understand uh, better uh, what yeah, yes, I, I, I promise, I, I will write you a mail, you know, because I, I have also worked a little with Stefan Sampo about this, and in the book with Natasha Sampo we have... Yeah, this sound okay. is not clear. I will write. I just heard uh, some books. I know that my very friend uh, Mario Krnic uh, uh, have with uh, Josip Pecharic two books about Hilbert inequalities. I have it in, in my book collection. Have, yes. have, As you and, know, uh, also, also very good friend of Josip Pecharic. We have something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I met you already in some uh, conferences in, in our other school. Yes. And I yes. remember yes. Yes. Then you know very interested in this also. But I will write to you. Uh, I, uh, I mentioned at the beginning that I am not belonging to the uh, Zagreb group of uh, inequalities, uh, but uh, I was interested in applying the uh, developed theory to series uh, to the Hilbert inequality. And I remember that Ivan Peric and Josip Petrich were uh, impressed about the idea. They never take, uh, uh, take that idea to uh, earn some inequalities of Hilbert type. Thank you. If, if there are more questions. I, I, I have a small question. You... you um, mentioned uh, some applications of those Matthews uh, series uh, in uh, in the theory of Neumann series. So yeah. What kind yeah. of applications uh, you, uh, you mean? You uh, find me uh, now <laughs> without words. Uh, I don't know what I uh, meant then, but I will uh, heavily think about, and uh, I uh, will respond you uh, in mail, if it is possible. <laughs> okay, thank you. I cannot remember now con in, in uh, that situation. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So if, if there are more questions, please. So it was a very interesting talk, indeed. Many interesting relations. Thank you, thank you very much for uh, that, your opinion. But uh, uh, shame on me, I cannot respond uh, properly to your very simple question. But uh, I think. Well, it's not a problem. Yeah, we always I know. Uh, by email. Uh, in Neumann, Neumann series. Sorry. We always communicate by email after yeah. our talks and seminars, so it's it's usual practice. Yeah. In, uh, thank you very much for. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. So, more questions or comments? If this is not the case, then thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to uh, help me in uh, finishing that uh, procedure and moving my slides. Yes, yeah, so I did it very well. Yeah.
it also was great to, to hear these historical things about problem. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.